Welcome back to The Kill Count. Just kidding, this is J23TV. We're diving deep into the darkest corners of horror cinema with our countdown of the top 10 scariest horror movies that will haunt your dreams. So, lock your doors, turn off the lights, and grab a blanket, or maybe a pillow to hide behind. Get ready to be terrified as we dive into the most spine-chilling films ever made. Coming in at number 10, it's a film that basically invented the way modern audiences think about demonic possession. The Exorcist. Released in 1973, this movie shocked audiences. I mean, it was so scary some people literally fainted in theaters. The image of young Reagan with her spinning head and projectile vomit is burned into the brains of generations of horror fans. What makes The Exorcist so effective is its slow, creeping dread. Director William Friedkin masterfully builds tension starting with subtle changes in Reagan's behavior. She plays with a Ouija board, talks to her dead friend Captain Howdy. Harmless kid stuff, right? Wrong. Because slowly things escalate. Reagan becomes more erratic, more violent. Her voice deepens into something guttural and inhuman. The makeup effects are still shockingly effective today. And it's that thematic depth combined with the sheer terror that makes The Exorcist a true horror classic. At number 9 we have a film that proves that modern horror can be just as effective as the classics, Hereditary. This 2018 masterpiece from Ari Aster is like a punch to the gut. It's unsettling, it's disturbing, and it stays with you long after the credits roll. Hereditary is a film about family secrets, about the things we inherit from those who came before us. And in the case of the Graham family, what they inherit is a whole lot of trauma and a supernatural entity with a taste for the macabre. Tony Collette gives a career-defining performance as Annie, the matriarch of the Graham family, who slowly unravels as the secrets of her past come to light. Astor's direction is masterful, using unsettling imagery and sound design to create an atmosphere of constant unease. And the ending? Let's just say it's one of the most haunting and unforgettable conclusions to a horror film in recent memory. Hereditary is not for the faint of heart, but for those who dare to enter its dark world, it's an experience you won't soon forget. Hold on to your crucifixes, because at number 8, we have The Conjuring. This 2013 film directed by James Wan reignited the mainstream's love affair with haunted house movies, and for good reason. It's a masterclass in suspense, atmosphere, and good old-fashioned jump scares. Based on the true stories of paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, The Conjuring follows the Perron family as they move into a dilapidated farmhouse in Rhode Island. And let's just say the previous tenants forgot to take their baggage, their supernatural baggage. What sets The Conjuring apart from other haunted house flicks is its relentless pacing. Juan keeps the scares coming, from creepy dolls to ghostly apparitions to a terrifying game of hide-and-seek in a pitch-black basement. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are fantastic as the Warrens, bringing warmth and humanity to their roles. The Conjuring spawned a whole franchise, but the original remains the best. It's a terrifying and entertaining ride that will leave you checking under your bed for things that go bump in the night. Chapter 4, The Shining, 1980. Coming in at number 7 is a film that needs no introduction, The Shining. Stanley Kubrick's 1980 adaptation of Stephen King's novel is a masterclass in psychological horror. It's a film that gets under your skin and stays there long after the credits roll. The Shining tells the story of the Torrance family, who agree to care for the isolated Overlook Hotel during the winter off-season. Jack Torrance, a struggling writer with a history of alcoholism, hopes the solitude will help him finish his manuscript, but the Overlook has other plans. Jack Nicholson gives an unhinged performance as Jack Torrance, slowly descending into madness as the hotel's sinister influence takes hold. Shelley Duvall is equally brilliant as Wendy, his terrified wife, who must protect herself and their young son, Danny, from Jack's increasingly erratic behavior. The Shining is a timeless classic that continues to terrify and fascinate audiences to this day. Chapter 5. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Rev up your chainsaws because at number 6 we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Tobe Hooper's 1974 masterpiece is a gritty, visceral experience that redefined horror. It's a film that's as shocking and terrifying today as it was upon its release. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre follows a group of friends who encounter a family of cannibalistic killers in rural Texas. And the most terrifying member of that family? Leatherface, a hulking brute who wears a mask made of human skin and wields a chainsaw with reckless abandon. 
The film is shot in a documentary style giving it a sense of realism that makes the horror hit even harder. The acting is raw and naturalistic, and the gore, though minimal by today's standards, is incredibly effective. And Leatherface remains one of the most iconic and terrifying villains in horror history. Chapter 6. The Ring 2002. Do you like scary movies? Because at number 5 we have The Ring, Gore Verbinski's 2002 remake of the Japanese horror classic Ringu, terrified audiences with its creepy visuals, unsettling atmosphere, and a curse that hits a little too close to home in our tech-obsessed world. The Ring follows Rachel Keller, a journalist investigating a cursed videotape that kills anyone who watches it within seven days. As Rachel delves deeper into the mystery she uncovers a dark secret about the tape's origins and must race against time to save herself and her son from the vengeful spirit of Samara Morgan. The Ring is a masterclass in atmosphere and dread. It's a world that feels cold, damp, and oppressive and oppressive, and Samara Morgan, with her long black hair and pale haunting face, is one of the most terrifying ghosts in horror history. You'll never look at a static-filled TV screen the same way again. Chapter 7. Halloween, 1978. At number 4, it's time to face your fears with Halloween. John Carpenter's 1978 slasher classic is a masterclass in suspense, atmosphere, and pure, unadulterated terror. It's the film that gave us Michael Myers, the silent, masked killer who stalks his victims with relentless determination. Halloween follows Laurie Strode, a teenage babysitter who becomes the target of Michael Myers' murderous rampage on Halloween night. Jamie Lee Curtis gives a star-making performance as Laurie, conveying both her vulnerability and her fierce determination to survive. Carpenter's direction is masterful, using long takes, POV shots, and a minimalist but incredibly effective score to create an atmosphere of unbearable tension. Halloween is a film that gets under your skin and stays there, and Michael Myers remains one of the most iconic and terrifying villains in horror history. Chapter 9. Get ready to face your demons because at number 2, we have Insidious. This 2010 film directed by James Wan is a terrifying journey into the world of astral projection and malevolent spirits. Insidious follows the Lambert family whose son Dalton falls into a coma after a mysterious incident in their new home. But Dalton's coma is no ordinary sleep. His consciousness has become trapped in a dark spiritual realm called the Further, where malevolent entities prey on the weak and vulnerable. Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne deliver powerful performances as Josh and Renee Lambert, parents desperate to save their son from the clutches of evil. Insidious is a film that will keep you on the edge of your seat from beginning to end. And be warned, the lipstick face demon is the stuff of nightmares. Chapter 10 and the number one scariest horror movie ever is It. This 2017 adaptation of Stephen King's iconic novel terrified a whole new generation with its story of a shape-shifting clown who preys on the children of Derry, Maine. It. Chapter 1 follows The Losers Club, a group of outcast kids who must face their fears and confront Pennywise, the dancing clown, to save their town and themselves. Bill Skarsgård gives a truly terrifying performance as Pennywise, capturing both the character's playfulness and his underlying menace. Director Andy Muschietti perfectly captures the small-town dread and coming-of-age themes of King's novel. It is a film that will stay with you long after you've seen it, and that sometimes the bravest thing you can do is face your fears head-on. Outro! Well, there you have it, our countdown of the top 10 scariest horror movies ever. 
We've explored demonic possessions, haunted houses, cursed videotapes, and even a shape-shifting clown. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more spine-chilling content. And be sure to let us know in the comments which horror movie scared you the most. Until next time, stay spooky.